we've done the chocolate syrup and I promised to show you how to make vanilla syrup so this is what we're going to do now. Now before I start I want to tell you I am going to be using vanilla beans okay these are the vanilla beans that I get and I have more but this is the bag that I pulled out. Vanilla Products USA on eBay best price hands down on vanilla beans you can get about a pound of the extract B grade vanilla beans for about $14. Um, you can, unless the price has gone up, I will have to double check that for you. And, um, and I'll put a link down below where you can get their products. This is the same stuff I make my extract out of, which is, this is my vanilla extract. And if you recall, and maybe some of you don't, two years ago I did a video on how to make your own homemade vanilla. I also showed how to make vanilla sugar by filling a mason jar and layering vanilla beans and sugar. Well, as it would happen to be that two years ago I made that vanilla sugar and I've not ever used any of it, so I thought I'm going to make my vanilla syrup and I'm just going to go ahead and use that vanilla sugar. And this, you don't have to have vanilla sugar to make the vanilla syrup, you could just have vanilla beans, but you have to have vanilla beans to make vanilla syrup. Do not buy vanilla beans in the grocery store. They charge you way too much money. You get like two beans for 11 or $12. That is a bunch of hooey. Get them online if you have to wait a little while and it'll be worth it. An extract wouldn't work? Vanilla extract is not gonna work because it's gonna evaporate. What you're gonna do is that this is the jar that the vanilla sugar was in. I simply emptied the contents and you see it's a little clumpy. But that's all right because it's going to dissolve anyway. And here's all these beans in here. So what? There's one, two, three, four, six, seven. There's eight. There's probably four beans in here total, okay? I just filled up the jar. You're going to have to stick your finger in there, right? Mm -hmm. How does it taste? Like sugar. Like sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you say it really tastes vanilla? It smells very much like vanilla. Mm -hmm. So that's a quart of vanilla sugar, which is four cups, right? And I just put in four cups of water. I'm gonna give this a good stir. And this is pure cane sugar. I don't buy anything but. If you're buying sugar and it just says sugar, you wanna make sure it says pure cane sugar on it. Otherwise, it could be beet sugar. And beet sugar is GMO. So that's something to look out for. Okay, we're gonna bring this over here to the stove and we're doing our chocolate syrup also. Medium heat. We just want this to come to a boil, okay? And then you're gonna to wanna to boil it for a few minutes and, and monitor it because the sugar will spray everywhere and make everything sticky. So if you have to lower the heat and let it simmer for just like three minutes and then take it off the heat and just let it sit. If you want to put like a, a splatter screen on top of it while it cools so that house flies don't bother it or if you have pets if hair doesn't get in there so that's just a little helpful hint for you. But don't put a lid on it because that's going to get all con condensated on the top and it's going to sheet back into the syrup. You don't want that. So um, just like this and this you'll know it has real vanilla beans in it because it's going to have the flecks of the bean eventually they're going to start to come out. So we're going to fish those beans out after it's fully steeped and it's going to take on a lovely color. Mm -hmm. And there is, uh, there's our chocolate syrup. Boiling. Okay, so we'll be back when this is boiling and ready to go and we'll be back when that happens. Okay, our vanilla syrup has started to boil and we're going to keep this, we're going to let this boil for three to five minutes and then we're just going to take it off the heat and let it cool and then you can decant it into whatever bottle you want. I just want you to see... This is the vanilla syrup that I bought in the store, okay? And this says that it has sugar, pure cane sugar, water, vanilla extract, and we may add some vanilla extract to this after it comes off of the boil. But it also has caramel color. But that's not necessary. I don't care, I mean, it doesn't. if it says it's vanilla, it smells like vanilla and it tastes like vanilla and it has vanilla in it, why do we need to add crap to it? I don't get it. So you can see it's boiling now. When 
you're going to start to see, because the water's going to start to evaporate, and it is going to, it's already a syrup. It's a one-to-one -one syrup, so it's a simple syrup. If you wanted this to be a little heavier, you could reduce it a bit longer than three to five minutes. Uh, you can already see that the bubbles are starting to get larger. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this off the heat. The longer this sits and steeps, the darker it's going to get as a result of the vanilla beans releasing their um, fl flavor and color into the syrup. When I get ready to strain this, I'll bring you back and I'll show you how I do that. And you can see, I don't know if you can, but around the edge, let's see, around the edge of the pan, you see the, the bean seeds from the vanilla bean, and you can also kind of see them in there. Mm -hmm. um, those are not in this syrup. They probably think the consumer doesn't, and plus, it is probably going to affect the shelf life if there's any organic matter in here. So you're going to want to keep this vanilla syrup in your refrigerator, okay, because it is homemade, ultra fresh, and it's going to contain pieces of vanilla bean. So I'm just going to set that off to the side. I'm going to let it cool, and I'm going to come back and strain it into a container when that's ready to go. We'll be back. Okay, we're having a thunderstorm, so that's what you hear in the background. Uh, this has cooled a bit, and um, I'm just going to remove these vanilla beans. I'm probably not going to throw them out. Okay, they won't cooperate with me. Oh, I'm tongue challenged, evidently. They're really flat, so it's <laughs> not really my fault. Okay, I'm just going to set those aside. Then I'm going to come over here to the sink. Now what you see here... Oh my god. That was a bad one. Knocked up the power. Was the power going out? We'll be right back. <laughs> We're going to do this by flashlight. <laughs> power went out. I don't know how long it's going to be before it's back on, so... Um, unfortunately, this is what we have to do. So I'm just, I have a strainer inside of a funnel. And I'm just going to decant into this bottle. And I usually use this bottle for simple syrup, but now I'm just going to put this vanilla syrup right in there. Go. It was close. And this just has one of those um, rubber gaskets. It's like an old fashioned milk bottle. Wipe it off. Where did we get that? I got this at TJ Maxx. I say that all the time. Mm -hmm. I got it at TJ Maxx. Hey, if you guys have a TJ Maxx, you can need to. They, check they them get out. new stuff two, three times a week. So sometimes it's fun to go and look. But if you can see the color of it, it's really beautiful. And if you want to compare, then hang on a second. This is, I'm so sorry. This is the commercial vanilla syrup. You can see that. Mm -hmm. And then this is the one we just made. And you can see the vanilla flecks in there, even though we strained it, some of them got in. But I'm just going to let this cool. I'm probably going to store it in my fridge. And I have to tell you, that's a lot of vanilla syrup for a little bit of money. This size bottle over here, this one right here that they sell in the grocery store for upwards of six or seven dollars, I think. Um, you know, it's got some ingredients in it we maybe don't want but but that's it did not cost us six or seven dollars to make this I'd say it probably cost less than two so you know four cups of water four cups of sugar and um, a half a dozen vanilla beans I think there were four full-size beans I cut in half there may have been eight short beans I don't know but even so the beans are really cheap so there you have it what Oh, I'm not gonna. Okay, Rick says to do this. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> I 
hope you try it, and I hope you love it. And I hope my lights come on soon. Until next time, I'll see you.